Michael and Paul, they, uh, they were the sponsor for the food. Uh, Matt and Paul and Certainty were the sponsors for the, the, the drink. And then we had a ton of sponsors step up and, and help us with the giveaways that we had. And so uh, a thank you to everybody that was involved in that. But somebody else that deserves a big thank you, um, our staff. So, Karen, Tiana, Lisa, Madison. For those, if you were here at the casino night, stand up. I love it. Did they not do a fantastic <laughs> job with the decorations and stuff? <laughs> so, thank you guys so much. And thank you to everybody that came out and helped us raise all of that money. It was a really fun time. And, and hopefully we'll do it even bigger next year. Right. No, I appreciate it. All right, so the culture, we're going to be talking a lot about uh, Mega Camp today. So to get you guys started and for you guys to figure out where my shirt came from, uh, have a little video for you. When you were a kid, and you still had a kid's imagination, did you ever make your own cave, get on top of your roof, put your fists on your hips, look out to the horizon, and before you jumped, you take your deepest breath and shout, I can sell this house. <laughs> of course not. Even I didn't do that. I have a real estate superhero for a father. Didn't dress up like a realtor for Halloween either. I wish I had now. But instead of being the cowboys or astronauts we dreamed of, we all grew up and became what we are. Now that's a good thing. It's also a shame because way too many of you think of yourselves as just real estate agents. What if instead of millionaire real estate agent, right. Gary titled it, How to Be a Pirate. Did you really think all those books were about real estate? You were reading instead of feeling. They were about life, grand adventures and fortunes to be had, stories about chaos and opportunity, strength and vision, leadership and daring exploits. They were maps to sail the world, to explore and discover clues to solve mysteries. They were autobiographies and memoirs of Gary and everyone he ever met. They were thrillers, comedies, epic tales, and legends, conquering heroes. Now those are things you make a cape for. Entrepreneurs can fly. We're 40 years old this year. We went and grew up, but we have to keep dreaming like children because children aren't afraid to fall. They're afraid to go to sea in a storm. Their imaginations are wild because they haven't learned to fail. They catch their breath in excited gulps and never stop moving. They cannonball in the pools and they pretend to be pirates, just like entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs don't love chaos. They love seeing an answer in the chaos. We build businesses worth owning and lives worth living. While others simply play real estate, we bend the rules to the direction we want the wind to blow. We command the horizon. We lead an industry by going our own way. We train the best to be better and to come on board. And we leave competitors in our way. We sell, we buy, we change lives. Tears of joy, shouts of victory. The dreams we had built with the dreams of our clients. New keys, new doors, new lives, new memories. And every one of us will be a part of the stories they tell. The life we've chosen is a celebration of the journey from treasure to treasure. It's an attitude you either have or you learn from reading a book you thought was about real estate. At Keller Williams, as a leader, as a team builder, as a lever of legacy, you will be so much more than a real estate agent. There's an entrepreneur inside every one of you, an incredibly wealthy entrepreneur. Because as Gary tells us, Relationships are the currency of wealth, and you're part of a culture like no other, with a network like no other. In Mark Twain's book, Life on the Mississippi, he remembers his childhood when he says, Now and then we had the hope that if we lived and were good, God would permit us to be pirates. Who ever heard of a pirate asking permission? Twice the skull and mustache. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> so who wants to be a pirate with me? I love it.
I love it. That is fantastic. All right. So uh, do we have any guests or first timers in our fantastic chair with us? Lauren, what are you here? Shane, I'm the call banker. Fantastic, Shane. We're glad to have you here. And what else? I'd like to introduce myself. I'm a new attorney with Pacific Law Group. Uh, my name is Joel Vanderveer. Uh, I've had my own practice for the past four years. I have a full service office in Alpharetta that's in the North Point Mall. Uh, and I came on board this very month. Uh, so it, the transitions, you know, have been very fast, but I'm very excited uh, to be a part of uh, this new meeting. Awesome. Uh, we have a, uh, just real quick, a landlord well, section. Actually, I think you'll have some opportunity yeah, yeah, when Marshall and you come up. We're yeah, that's all right. So we'll get you up here. All right. We're going to set all right. <laughs> Any other guests, or is everybody else family already? All right, fantastic. All right, well, Pacific Law Group, come on up here. Good morning, everybody. How are y'all? Good. Well, um, you know, as we said, this is Joel. He's a new managing attorney here, runs the Alpharetta office. Uh, I've known Joel since 2016 or 17, probably. We go back a ways. Yeah. Um, but Joel's an awesome attorney. We're super happy he's joined the team. and. Uh, You'll see the same awesome service out of him as we have out of our other locations. Um, I'll turn it over to him just one second. I just wanted to mention one thing. Uh, everyone be ready. It's the time of year. Everyone's getting their tax bills. Your clients are going to call you panicked. How can I pay this? Um, assure them 99% of them have an escrow account. That money is already set aside for them. Um, and let them know as well that everything was prorated at closing because those are going to be the big questions that you're going to just probably have your phone blow up for every new home buyer that you have. Um, we start getting them a lot this time of year. Um, but uh, Joel, take it over, man. What, what do you got right. to say? Uh, well, yeah, so I've introduced myself. Uh, some of the practice areas that I bring on board here are uh, wills, uh, estate planning matters, uh, as well as some probate matters. Uh, typically, if it's not contested, I have a couple attorneys on staff that I bring with my practice uh, to Pacific Law Group. Uh, also, landlord tenant matters. So it kind of seems to be an area that is, you know, if you have a, if you have a tenant or if you have a client that perhaps is a, is a tenant uh, that perhaps has eviction letters, we can assist with that. Uh, just uh, let us know. Obviously, these things are very time sensitive. Uh, if, it's, if it's a complaint's filed, it's usually about a week that they have to respond. Uh, but uh, the early, we've already been helping uh, clients already uh, with Pacific Law Group. So, you know, excited to bring those uh, practice areas on board. But again, my bread and butter is real estate, commercial uh, as well. Uh, so we're happy to have a full service uh, for you. Uh, We're super thankful to have the in-house probate stuff. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> We're there's a lot of stuff. crossover with that, yeah. Fantastic. Appreciate cool. you guys. We'll get out of here one. Thank right. you. And next up, Matt and Paul with Certain D. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Matt Lip, Certain D Home Lending. Um, Paul Bryan. Good morning, morning everybody. I just want to say, like, thank you guys for putting on such an awesome casino night. That was, I think I might have missed that in, like, the first couple minutes of the meeting, but that was, like, it was good to have that back. Margarita mix was delicious. Yeah. <laughs> I found some chips in my pocket when I got home. I still redeemed those. For <laughs> no, it was just super nice to have that back and for a good cause, so thank you for everybody that came out for that. It was, it was spectacular. Um... This week, I just kind of wanted to share, I'll call on Luann here in a second, but um, she has been awesome and has actually put a couple of buyers under contract in the past couple of weeks. And so we just wanted to share maybe some of the strategies that we use to kind of set our clients apart and have them win. So, well, first of all, it's always a win to use that as certainty. They're just so fast at everything and that's so helpful. But one of my strategies has been to uh, wait till August for my buyers because I just, you're getting beaten up in the spring and I know you can't always do that, but I said, you know, I've, I've done this for 22 years now and every August is the same. School starts and there's just this lull of activity. And so we hit it and we, neither of the two that we put offers in on had bidding wars. Um, it was just great. And so we did a seven day due diligence and they didn't push back on that either. And, we um, did. Um, that's getting the appraisals done. We days. got them. I mean, we fully approved before they were ever under contract. So we had no financing contingency. Uh, we had no appraisal contingency. But Luann did get a seven-day due diligence period, and we ordered appraisals on day one. Um, and actually, the first one we got back in like three days. 
street. So um, not even on a rush. So appraisers must be eager for business too. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, um, just want to kind of share some of the tips and tricks, little things that we've done to win. So kudos and thank you. We'll talk about the upcoming classes. Sure. Uh, upcoming classes, you can learn about what we just talked about there about contingencies, appraisals, and pre underwriting and such. Uh, first class coming up is this Thursday, all about credit and conference center. Try to make it more personal. The atrium conference center. Or the atrium, sorry. Uh, that's all about credit. And then on September 7th, condo coach. Just everything about condos. Back to the atrium center. Try to make it more personal. Uh, Wednesday, September 13th, free marketing tools. Matt has some uh, other tools yep. that he uses, mortgage bot, uh, or home bot. Home bot. Home bot. Mm -hmm. And then on uh, September 20th, wind down Wednesday with Danny and certainly home loans. Monday, excuse me. And then September 27th, mortgage 102, advanced problem solving. Um, check your calendars for the times, usually two to three. And we are going to start doing all the little trainings in the atrium conference room just because it is more personal and it's a lot more more prone to ask questions and more conversations to be had, which is what our goal is in the first place. Um, so if you can, I know it gets sent out a couple times a week with the RSVPs. If you are interested in coming to one, just got your name down so we know exactly how many lobsters to order. Um, <laughs> last time we had so many fillets left over. It was, so, um, Might have a margarita ball. Yeah, never know. <laughs> but yeah, come to one of our classes, RSVP, if you need anything, come grab me your ball. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And uh, next up, Coach Janet. I didn't want her to bust the butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Coach Dan, if you don't know me, I just wanted to, first of all, thank the people that came today that wore shirts thanking me, Lou. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, so, um, I just wanted to say, um, I obviously am not a skater, so you got to try new things in life. So, um, I decided to be a coach here um, because it's something that I'm really passionate about. I'm not here to teach you how to use command because I'm not as good at it, but still. <laughs> but, um, I am here to help you with motivation and get your mind right, and that's what really works coaching, what coaching is all about. So, um, hope you come see me, and I can help you be successful in real estate. I've been, um, I've been in real estate for 20 years. I've owned several businesses, and I really know how to actually um, do business and run a business, and I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. So, come see me. <laughs> Jenna will help you with your business plan. She'll get you out of your comfort zone. She'll help get you into production. She can help you with your scripting. There's a lot that a good productivity coach will help you with. So, uh, next up, at 11 from our ALC. All right. One of these days, I'm gonna teach y'all all how to pronounce my last name. Well, how but do I, I pronounce it? Teach that. me now. It's Levin, but I'll Levin. answer anything. So, um, good morning, everybody. I am Eddie Levin with, uh, now I can't even remember how to pronounce it, with the Social Action Committee, uh, part of your ALC group. Um, so, interesting enough, um, there's a lot of things I didn't even know existed um, as part of the, the Social Action Group. So, um, I'm going to do this kind of real quick and then two other points. Um, outside, as you walk out where we have the listings for upcoming, you will see um, a group of, of communities that are all part of Keller Williams. Um, the w uh, KW Arabic Real Estate Professionals, Pan Asian Network, Black Real Estate Network, um, Alliance of uh, Perusian for Purposeful Action. Boy, that's a lot. <laughs> um, uh, Simca uh, for the Jewish community, uh, Rainbow Network, um, 
And then that was in Spanish, so I can't read that. Hispanic uh, leaders. But these are just some of the different individual communities um, that are out there that I didn't even know about um, until I kind of stepped into uh, the social equity committee. So if you're looking for you know, your group and you're not sure, check these out. They're, uh, they're all Facebook page groups and they have different meetings. There's uh, some more of them. I didn't, we don't have all, I don't know if I have all of them out there. Um, but it's just another way to immerse yourself, you know, in network, um, but to also make sure everybody's included. So um, that's kind of what part one of what I want to talk about. Part two, um, I want to start a list of agents who speak other languages other than me speaking Baba and Southern, um, <laughs> which I'll be happy to help any of you know those of y'all don't know how to speak you know Baba or Southern, you're fine. But if I have a you know a Spanish speaking a uh, client or a referral, you know I need somebody that I can refer to because it's really not a good fit if I can't understand them, you know. They may speak broken English, and I speak no Spanish, so it really, but so if you speak another language or two, um, we're going to put a sign up sheet or right now and then I'll get with Karen and maybe we'll figure out a, another way of doing it, but put your information down your contact what other languages you speak that'll help everybody so also. If Karen gets a call and they're looking for, you know, uh, I don't know, whatever agent, she'll have a list and it'll be, you know, a possible referral for it. Uh, so that's step one uh, as we try to, you know, get it, make sure everybody's included. Step two, um, we're getting ready for holiday seasons, right? Lots of different holiday seasons. I can only tell you what uh, the Jewish holidays are and the Christian holidays, but there's other holidays. So if there's a holiday that you feel that has been excluded, not on the calendar, whatever the case may be, let me know so we can get it added. If it's a festival and it's something you want to, you know, share with everybody in the office, we'll come up with a plan for that. Uh, and then last, um, I'm looking for people who would like to join me on the uh, social equity uh, committee uh, as we grow it and uh, find other ways to make sure everybody, you know, uh, here at the office feels like we're one big family. So any questions, uh, go to Trey. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I'll take them. No, Trey will take them. I'll take them. But, you know, that's what we're looking for as we grow. And again, there's more of, of these different, uh, you know, groups that I didn't even know existed. Uh, so if there's something that interests you, check it out. If you don't see something, definitely, you know, ask Trey or I and we'll help you research it and find out. It's not easy, unfortunately, to find it through Connect, uh, but we will find it for you. So any uh, any questions real quick or anything? If not, uh, we'll see you all soon. Have a great week. Thank you. And every one of those. Just uh, FYI, on our resource page, there's a link to the resource page. And in the on all the flyers in the hallway, there's a QR code on each one of them that'll take you to the Facebook page so you can connect with that particular affinity group. So, they'll be created. All right, we've heard from everybody else. Let's say hello to each other. So, a couple minutes for hugs and high fives. Say hello to your neighbor. <laughs>
See all you stragglers, that's, that, y'all just wait until that. That's, that's what y'all wanted to be here with, right? All right. So a uh, few announcements. Uh, we have some buyers that need houses, and we've got some listings coming up. So uh, Renita is looking for a three-bedroom, two-bath, uh, 300K or under. It needs to be a ranch and must have a garage looking in uh, Douglas County. Uh, Anthony Crawford needs a four bedroom, Lithonia, Conyers, Covington, Stockbridge, max of 265. Uh, FHA buyer to be listed. Renita's got uh, a Dallas property, five bedroom, three bath, 450,000. Uh, it's going to be listed September 1st. Uh, it's light new with a fenced in backyard. Uh, coming up on the 28th, Eddie. Levin. 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 I've heard it so many different ways, I've got to block all the others out. Uh, he's got a beautiful four bedroom, three bath in Atlanta. Uh, it's a rental, $3,300 a month. Yes, I'm looking for that. Renita's got another one that's right about to list if it didn't already in Hapeville, a three bed, two bath, $360,000. She has another one in Douglasville, a four bedroom, three bath, 315,000 that uh, needs a little love, she says. Uh, Eddie has another rental in Atlanta, 60 Cleveland Street. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 3,500. Uh, it's a charming, newly renovated three bedroom, two full bath, uh, right near Little Five Points. Um, on 831, Maya's got a listing, 700 Park Regency Place. It's a one bedroom, one bath. Uh, going to be 400k. Uh, that's a price adjustment. And first ever container home in Atlanta for the income potential. Uh, Maya saw four bedroom, two and a half bath, 600k, 347 Mary Street. So these will go back up on the board outside. Hey, try out that one. It is amazing. And I actually have to thank Shane for that property. Uh, we're working together on that property. Okay. Um, you know, together everybody can achieve more. Right. So, no. right? Although she's with for now, for the color like <laughs> um, So this is like, uh, this is really like a passion project, an eco-friendly property. Within five minutes of Mercedes-Benz, we already ran the numbers for what it will fetch for a short-term rental. Uh, I have a partner that's a lender that does the algorithm and everything. 57000 a year is the conservative estimate for how much money you can make on that property. It's going to be listed at 600000 Um Obviously, like, you know, city of Atlanta going through the permitting was crazy. It is not a manufactured home. It's on a solid foundation, so any lender can go ahead and, and get so it. So what is when you say container? Yeah. They, they what use, is, like, metal shipping containers. Right. Metal, it's, oh. it's, it's, it's the first ever. It's, a, it's actually a hybrid container home. So they, when I say hybrid, so there's two containers on the bottom. And it's different from the second to the third floor up. So it's a combination of traditional build with the container. Yes. Come down. Bring, bring the buyers. <laughs> All right. Where's the, Victoria, you need to ask. No, no. Yeah. It's a Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh okay. downtown. I got a three, two and a half in Ackworth. I need it rented tomorrow. Um, okay. So 2300 and we will discount the first month's rent. Oh. Fantastic. Guys, remember, add, add, fill these out before the meeting. We'll make sure that they get announced. Um, and if you've got a buyer out there that, that needs been filled, take that down. Because I, I know when the listings went live, I don't know when the buyers found the house. Okay, so, so police yourself there. And I sure would appreciate it. I want to remind you guys that uh, the Atlanta board dues are coming up uh, due by October 1st, September 30th, depending on how you think about it. Uh, so don't want to fall behind on that. Uh, reminder, you've got the Quap resource page now available with all sorts of stuff. So if you haven't checked that out yet, uh, certainly go and do that. On the training calendar, uh, we have our staples that are there. So we've got our Millionaire Mornings, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. This is a script practice and motivation with Coach Janet. Uh, we've got command training and real estate conversations with Bill on Mondays and Tuesdays. We've got GAR contracts with me on Fridays. And uh, who in here has been taking my contract? Good? 
the new girl. Yeah. So we tried to take it last Friday on Zoom, and it, they never zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So okay. Still, it Shoot me a text. It is. Okay. But once I turn it on and I come stand out here, I don't see that you're trying to oh, get in oh. the Zoom. So if you were late getting I there, I don't, I don't, I don't get a reminder that somebody's trying to get into the room. So be on time. If you're going to do some work. Don't be in person. I'm going to be a couple minutes late. All right. So Mega Agent Mastermind this month. Uh, next month's going to be September 12th and 26th. The Rising Star Mastermind, there is one today, but it's going to be a little abbreviated, so that'll be from 11.30 until 12, because I double booked myself, uh, and then we'll have Tuesday, September 19th, that's for my uh, uh, agents that are under 2 million in production right now, uh, where I double booked myself, 12 o'clock today, hopefully most of you are planning to stick around for uh, two hours with me on working with investors. Uh, Everything about credit, Matt already hit that. Lunch Pro is doing whiskey and wine on the 31st, the last day of the month from three to four. So you start with Matt and you finish with whiskey and wine. So that'll be a good day. Uh, move to next month, uh, Nightmare Closings. I've talked extensively about with Marshall about this class and what's included in it. Uh, guys, if you want to avoid headaches at the closing table, you want to avoid disaster with transactions falling apart, this is a really good class for you to be in. Uh, also, me and Marshall on the 12th from 1 to 2.30, uh, we're going to spend uh, 90 minutes together talking about chat GPT and AI and how you can implement that and use that in your business today. Uh, this is the next smartphone. This is the next uh, a smartphone, just a, a, a mobile phone. We're no longer attached to the wall. We're no longer carrying quarters around in our pocket, right? Mm -hmm. Our job looks very different now that we have the uh, email replacing the fax, okay? Imagine if we had to go back to the technology of 20 years ago. How different would it be trying to do business today with 20-year-old technology? For me, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you still have the carbon paper yeah. and press the hard three copies? Uh, yeah. I'll so guys, that. this this is going to change the way that we interact and we do business. And there's ways to use this today to make your life easier. Um, I'm just going to add, even if you went to the first one, I kind of did just like a brief intro to this a while back. I know a lot of you came. Um, that was kind of a proof of concept show you that this exists and just some brief ways to use it. This will be a lot more like comprehensive and more concrete ways you can use it every day in your business. Um, I think it will, it's a tool that's going to really separate people's productivity levels over time. Yeah. You can and, check and it me out. and Marshall are doing that together. Yeah. So be good stuff. Uh, coming up on the 15th, if you need to update your headshot, Karen's going to be taking care of that for you for $35. Encourage you guys to uh, do that. I've seen some of your headshots and they're, uh, they're getting a little a little stale. <laughs> so, uh, uh, commercial, we've got the monthly Zoom meeting coming up on the 26th. That was three days ago. That's why I didn't get updated. Uh, on the, the 14th, we've got the Rawls Group uh, commercial meeting, and we've got some congratulations to make. So, uh, if you are on the board now closing this week, you get a payday. There's one in the corner. <laughs> Who else is up there? All right, anybody else? Oh, you didn't even know it. Oh. All right. I want to throw more paydays. I'm going to get on the board. Um, and then we have a couple people capped this month. So, uh, Deb and Michael, if you guys want to come on up. Fantastic. Are you guys wants to actually put them on? Oh. Cool. <laughs> I, you both did. Y'all are a team. <laughs> okay. You're just going to pull them. Oh, you got like the <laughs> thing is my yeah, 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 the PowerPoint's on here. Hang on, I'm going to mute it. Okay. I'm going to mute it's just reflecting on your face. There, there we go. Okay. But we were shining on the prettiest no, that's So this was a good one to Come shine on. on. <laughs> the, the rose between the thorns. <laughs>
Jeez. All right, congratulations. Thank you. So they get 100% of their commission until their anniversary date. So absolutely love that. Fantastic. And now we get to talk about Mega Camp. So uh, you guys missed it. I told you guys that you needed to come. Now I get to tell you that you missed it. You should have been there. Uh, and I've got Maya uh, here to join me today. She gets to prove it. So uh, we'll walk through and share some of the, the highlights of uh, what we saw and what we learned while we were there. And uh, the way I set things up today is just kind of the agenda that, that we went through. And, and it started out actually the, the day before the official launch of Mega Camp. <clears throat> and they hosted a CEO Summit. Um, I didn't pay to be a part of that. I don't think my you attended that either. Um, didn't find out about it too late or I would have been there because there were some amazing speakers that were there. Um, I've gotten my hands on the notes for some of those speakers. The, the one nugget that I absolutely loved the most came from Molly Bloom. Has anybody seen the, the story, the movie Molly's Game? No, okay. Mo Molly was an Olympic skier who, who suffered knee damage and then had to leave that sport. And she wound up hosting a, a high-end poker game. And um, you have seen it, right? Ends up getting raided by the FBI in the end, but I mean, she was making bank running this this gambling empire illegal gambling <laughs> empire <laughs> so uh since then uh she's now a motivational speaker and a business consultant and all that but uh the quote of hers that i absolutely loved was the problem isn't the voice in your head but you're listening to it so we all have that little voice in the back of our head telling us that we can't or we're not enough right mm -hmm. all of us do no matter how confident you are, I promise you, you've got that voice. You just don't want to admit it, but <laughs> you're listening to it too much. And uh, that, that really spoke to me. Uh, we also, that afternoon, had access to the exhibit hall. And if you've never been to a family reunion or a mega camp, um, it's a fantastic experience. We have tons of vendors there. They're talking to us about their business and their support. But this is also our opportunity to go around. Keller Williams has booth after booth after booth set up for different parts of their business. So I spent a lot of time at the technology booth, uh, finding out about our new websites that we get all of us as agents that are gonna be launching over the next few weeks. They've started rolling them out in certain market centers um, and they're doing them as fast as they can, bringing everybody on board, but it's, it's about a month long rollout. So you should before October have access to yours. So be looking for that. Uh, I know that Bill's going to be doing classes on getting your set up and, and taking advantage of all the tools and everything that, that are there. So be looking for that. Uh, we also, on the 8th of this month, had the new command ads uh, get launched, uh, where you're now able to go in instead of picking and choosing uh, which platforms you want to market to, it will market across the whole metaverse, will we'll market across the whole Googleverse. Uh, so there's some really cool stuff in there. Again, Bill's going to be teaching you guys about this. So you guys need to be in that command class on Monday or paying attention to your email and plugging in. But there's there's boosts for map coaching. There's boosts for the affinity groups. There's uh, boosts for uh, Keller offers and Keller home loans and Keller covered and all the different tools that we give you there's somebody there to, to hold your hand and tell you how you can put this uh, in your business. Maya, did you spend much time in the exhibit hall? Yes, uh, I'm part of two communities, actually three. I'm uh, with the KWYP Young Professionals um, mm -hmm. group, so I spend time there. It's another opportunity to foster the relationships that I've been building with that community. I'm part of KW Wealth, which teaches you how to keep your money, actually, after you make it. Because otherwise, Uncle Sam takes it off. Anyhow, um, and then I am also part of uh, luxury, actually four, oh my God. <laughs> um, the luxury booth, uh, I stopped by there making new contacts in the States where I want to refer partners in that luxury sp um, space. And then KW Sports and Entertainment. So obviously, KW Sports and Entertainment is always a party over there. So like, I spent a lot of time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and and this is also where um, I get all my awesome KW swag. So uh, lots of cool stuff always. It's there discounted at every event versus yeah. when you order it online. Yeah. So 
fun stuff. And then uh, they the the pre night ended every single day at Mega Camp or Family Reunion. There is massive amounts of networking opportunities. So I know uh, that first night there, I went to uh, one of the attorneys in my previous market center, hosted a huge event. So we go drink, network, they feed us. Um, it's a really good time. Maya, I know you had more events to go to than one person should be allowed yeah. to. <laughs> I always do that. So um, they, I try, I, I love planning my everything life, like starting with the vacation, right? Like very well trained there by my coach. But then at Mega Camp, I try also to put my calendar into place at least two months before. Uh, scheduling one-on-ones for the people that I want to know deeper and then scheduling the extra events that I go to. Well, two weeks before Mega Camp, you get all bombarded by all these additional requests, like from our market center, yep. from the Ross group, group, from you know our partners and vendors, and um, it's just impossible. But I will still accept it just in case a plan falls off apart. So uh, it's kind of you can get into that rabbit hole of doing too much. I, I guess um, I've just learned to do two events in the morning, two events in the afternoon. It's still intense, but it's much more manageable than what I used to do before. So that yeah, was great. There, there are dozens and dozens of events. I was at the Black Realtor Network actually. Where, wherever you want to plug in, that somebody's having a meeting. Uh, or a conversation or a small class about it. Yeah. So the official first day started out, uh, we, in Mega Camp, we all meet in one big room. There, there's just one place that we're all going for the, the presentations and you can't really tell from the picture because I was pretty close, uh, but 7,500 of us there this year. Uh, the first Mega Camp was in 2010. Uh, there were 38 that were there. Uh, 2011, 400 registered. Uh, but Mega Camp was the day after 9 11. Uh, so only 50 showed up that second year. And then since then, it's been a rocket ship taking off. Uh, so it starts out uh, Gary on stage. Uh, he started out with the market update this year. Uh, don't want to go into a lot of depth with the market update because next week after team meeting, um, I'm going to be doing a full breakdown on the market update. A uh, couple of nuggets that I took away that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys today just to kind of tease you. Uh, 2023 will be the fifth best year in real estate for agent production in history. Fifth <coughs> best year ever. Does it feel like that? <laughs> but the numbers bear out that it is. Here's the contrast average of 5.7 sites per agent okay it's the price that has gone up so the number of transactions is down but the dollar volume of business the commission making opportunity is as high as it's ever been yes almost as high as it's ever been uh, so uh the the thing gary told us is if you do the work you will have a fantastic year don't let that feeling hold you back. The, the opportunity is out there in the marketplace. So go get it. And uh, they, they backed that up. The next thing that they went to was a really brilliant conversation about happy versus hustle. Because coming out of the, the market update and talking about how agent mindset was an issue uh, throughout the country, not just in Atlanta. Uh, so we wanted to have this happy versus hustle conversation. And, and we're gonna save this. I've got every slide for this presentation. We're gonna do this as a team meeting another day. But were you there for this one? Oh yeah. This was fantastic, was it not? Amazing. So a couple of the nugget nuggets that I took away out of there is adopt the mindset that's best, that the best is ahead of us. It's a framework for optimism and happiness. Uh, the whole conversation was. Do we become happy after we're successful or do we become successful successful because we're happy? Yes. You know, what mm -hmm. is it which comes first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah. And so adopting that mindset is your, your best approach to getting to happiness. And I think that it was Jay that recommended the book, The Happiest Man on Earth. So uh, I encourage you guys to take a look at that. That's where a lot of the content and the ideas from that came from. Anything you wanted to add? Yes, this, um, 
I, it, it touched me so much that that was the one live that I did while at Medicam um, was about this part. Like we have this mindset of hustling, hustling. When I get this goal, I'll be happy. No, no, no. People who get to that goal are happy most of the time. That's why they get to there. So be happy. <laughs> be happy. I'm worried about how, what does that look like? And how it's a choice. Work? And yeah. it's really a choice. So, and then we started into the agent panels, and that's the, the thing that Mega Camp is known for, is bringing up panel after panel after panel of top producing agents, like uh, Bob Lacita is one of the ones that's on stage. Um, his team last year, or in the last 12 months, sold $1 billion. Did I get that? One billion dollars worth of real estate. Okay, that's still kind of staggering to me. But uh, the panel started with the four different business models from a, a, a solo agent, a solo agent with an assistant, a small team, and then an expansion team, and broke down how each of those things look. Uh, we talked about open houses, social media, farming, database, events, seminars, online leads, marketing, referrals and relocation, networking and mopers do i know what mopers is mm -hmm. make make offer. who does immediate not response. know what a mofer is oh, raise your hand make offer for immediate response okay it, it ties in with your marketing and anything that you do uh had some really good conversations around that by the way on kw connect you guys can find a one pager on every single one of these topics that's very actionable I'll show you what that looks like here in just a minute. Okay. <laughs> Good to start. Oh, okay. Yeah. So wanted to share uh, some of the ones that were on stage. Uh, Rena Venom was uh, one of the ones that got up there. She was there for the social media. Uh, she has been in real estate for months. She, in her three months, first three months, uh, gathered 100,000 followers on TikTok. Um, and was so successful, had so many transactions. Uh, she's already hired to hire, had to hire an ISA, uh, an inside sales agent, somebody to answer her phone and handle all of her leads, uh, a transaction coordinator, and a virtual assistant. Four months into the business, uh, she has like 14 closed already and more on the way. Yeah, she's on and, track to close 25 million in real estate this year. Yeah. yeah. In her, is there opportunity out there? <laughs> do you think so? So go ahead and listen to what she had to say. How do you get 100,000 subscribers? In order to grow on TikTok, the number one thing you have to do is stop the scroll. If something doesn't interest you in the first two seconds of you looking at that video, you're scrolling. The opportunity is gone, you've moved on. So stopping the scroll in literally the first two seconds really is a key here. I mean, you're posting a video every day. So are you sitting down at the beginning of the month and you're saying, I'm going to inspire seven days a week and then I'm going to, or is it just off the cuff? You're, they're on the journey with you in real estate life. It really is spontaneous and completely off the cuff. I don't own lighting equipment. I don't own fancy tripods. It is just me and my right arm holding up my phone, getting everything done. I film in my car. I film in my kitchen. I film in my living room, in my office. I think all social media content has to boil down to three things. You need to either motivate, inspire, or educate. Pretty cool stuff, isn't it? Uh, and then Nikki Miller, uh, she runs a big team. She was talking about online leads. And the standard for her team, the expectation is, is that if you're a member of her team, you get an online lead, you have to respond to it within nine seconds. It loses value after that. The likelihood of connecting with someone diminishes every second after the first nine seconds. So anybody that's entertaining or thinking about spending money on Zillow leads or realtor.com or anything like that, if you don't have a plan and the ability to respond to that lead within 10 seconds, you're wasting money on those leads. How's that for powerful? Is that not kind of surprising to anybody? Okay. Um, and then within two to three minutes of being on the phone, that's as long as her conversation is, um, they have an appointment. 
that's where they build value. And here's what she said to say. An agent is able to get in front of the consumer within 48 hours. They are 300% more likely to convert that transaction than the, than the agent who wasn't. So it's not just speed to lead anymore. It's speed to face to face. Can you get in front of them as quickly as possible? It's two to three minutes at most set the appointment. That's the goal. What's the key to keeping it moving? So, so much of this fizzles out. They look at one or two houses and then they just kind of like vanish off into buyer land. To me, the magic words in real estate, y'all should write this down and put it somewhere in your office and never ever forget it as long as you live. This is what happens next. This is what kills so many business opportunities. You just don't tell the consumer what happens next. We as agents work in this space so consistently that we expect the consumer to know and to push themselves along, and they won't. Our highest converters are the agents that create urgency by giving them a, this is what happens next. If they don't close on that first appointment, they're setting the next appointment. Isn't that an awesome script? So simple, right? Just a couple of uh, little words. This is what happens next. Um, and then for the uh, the networking, uh, they had somebody on stage from the Millionaire Business Network. Um, if anybody's in here familiar with BNI, yeah, this is like BNI on steroids. This is a combination of a BNI plus business training brought together. Okay, and and it's a platform where you can go start your own networking group that's an industry specific so you, you start a group you're the only realtor in that group there'll only be one plumber one attorney one insurance person that's in that group but they've laid everything out for you um so if that's something that you're interested in looking at i thought this was very very interesting very very powerful um before i go into this my were there any other nuggets that you took away from the uh the panels that you wanted to share? So I obviously missed Nikki Miller's because I was at a networking event and um, I just received a bunch of leads last night that I didn't reach out to. <laughs> so I'm not so happy about it. Um, but uh, the lady who did the social media, obviously, that was great. One thing that um, I would encourage everybody to do is to look into the slides that are on KW Connect and there's so many good slides from Gary Keller's market update that could be just you and your right arm. And I always overthink it. It needs to be in studio. It needs to be edited. It needs to be perfect. But if people are not in you know business with perfect people, they like you or they don't. So, so I made a commitment that I am going to post a video every single day on social media, just because it's just her and her right arm. Go be yourself. Go yeah. be authentic. That's easier to be you than anybody else. Okay. Uh, one of the things that Gary said that that at kind of the close of the day uh, is he started hammering down this point with everybody that was on stage. It was not that they were a real estate agent. It's that they were a open house company that happened to sell real estate. They were a marketing company that happened to sell real estate. They were an events company that happened to sell real estate. Whatever their method of connecting with people was, that's the business that they were running. That's where the majority of their energy and effort was, is how do I cultivate these connections? And then sometimes we do real estate. And that's how they built these massive companies. They become really granular and really focused on doing one thing really, really well. As they brought everybody up on stage, if they brought somebody up for networking, they didn't do open houses. They didn't do seminars. They didn't do door knocking. They did events. They did seminars. They did one thing and did it exceptionally well. And uh, some of the other nuggets that I pulled out from some of the other speakers, and gosh, there were so many more. Uh, but Girls Night Out, I thought was just a brilliant idea for events. Um, so somebody has her girls club and she's inviting and growing and has a girls night out that she hosts every single month. Uh, one of the things that I used in my business that I absolutely love is a housewarming party. So when I would help a buyer buy a home, instead of buying them a traditional closing gift, I gave them a certificate that instead of a traditional gift, I was going to host their housewarming party for them uh, for, for up to 40 people. And I would provide all the food, I would bring all the beverages, I would take care of all the setup, 
All I needed for them was the name, the phone number, and the email for all the people they wanted to come. Yes. My database, everybody goes in there. And when you show up to the housewarming party and you're bringing the food and everything, you're kind of the hero of the story, right? Your client, what are they doing? They're introducing you to everybody, right? And they're telling them how awesome you were as their real estate agent. You talk about instant credibility. So uh, somebody else was doing that. So that certainly uh, spoke to me. Love that. Uh, hosting seminars at local libraries. I thought that was fantastic uh, because libraries are always looking for somebody to use those spaces. And that's a neutral location, you know, it's, it's kind of awkward. somebody didn't want to necessarily come into the real estate office to do it. So where can we go very inexpensively host a seminar that people would want to come to? I thought public libraries was just a brilliant idea. About that one, uh, when you send the invitation, don't do a postcard. She, she was like, if they get a 60% higher response rate, um, just sending letters. So because people, that, you know, are more open minded to coming to a library session that looks less like a marketing piece. So send letters on an A4 letter, print, simple, tell them the time and the date, and they get a 60% higher response rate from that. So that was really good. One thing she said too, when they get the follow up for somebody asking questions, they ask them to come to a strategy session sell a strategy session instead of listing appointment because it sounds all different, right? So it's all about the words we use. So now I am revamping everything to do buy a strategy session, sell a strategy session, because you can have that strategy session with somebody who's ready in one month, three months, one year, two years. It's just a strategy session. So that was great. Love that. Um, with the new command ads, we're already uh, averaging under 350 per lead. Uh, in command, and that's across all of Keller Williams. So, if if online leads is where you want to go, the the ads are working fantastic, and that price point is way lower than you're going to find anyplace else. Um, something that I love, they talk about replacing the word lead with human being, and and so often we tell ourselves or we'll tell somebody else that that's a bad lead or, or that was a, a a crappy lead or that's a dead end lead. Well, as soon as you say that that's a bad person, that's a dead end human being, your thinking has to completely change, right? Mm -hmm. Every one of those leads, that's somebody's mother or, or son or brother. It's a person that has uh, needs and wants, and, and that's who we're here to serve, and we need to be reminded of that. Um, and so I thought that was really, really powerful. That That's a practice that they, they use inside their team. Um, and the last one, somebody was just talking about be human. You don't have to be perfect, be very approachable. Um, and, and I really like this question that she used. Can I ask you a few questions to best understand what you want to accomplish? And, and that works both with buyers and sellers, okay? That, that you're doing that pre-qualifying. This is a really natural way to open up that conversation. Oh, we're not even day, just done with day number one. We've got three minutes. Oh, yeah. we'll Zoom. Uh, so they are about to have an MREA podcast. Uh, so that's coming up. There's the link for that. Uh, at the end of day one, team, oh, uh, I guess that's on day two that I have that. Uh, Tim Tebow uh, presented uh, for anybody that's in mastery coaching. I didn't get to make it to that event. I know Maya did. Um, I was at the Rawls Group event. Like I said, there's, there's more to do than you're ever going to be able to do. Uh, a couple of things that I heard, though, that I thought were really good. Uh, imperfect action beats perfect procrastination. <laughs> um, and patience isn't about waiting, but about grinding until the tides turn. And that was really powerful. Maya, anything you wanted to add to the Tim Tebow? Yes, in order to actually make uh, changes and impact people around you, you have to be passionate and be willing to sacrifice. And sacrifice doesn't mean like sacrifice like your family life or your relationships, but 
there is something you're doing that you can sacrifice, whether it be watching Bravo TV mm -hmm. or scrolling on social media. But you have to be willing to sacrifice to be somebody that's going to achieve their goals and other people want to be around. Fantastic. That brings us to day two. Going to speed things up. We had fantastic speaker, uh, Phil Jones, uh, was our, our keynote speaker. He's got two books, uh, Exactly What to Say and Exactly What to Say for Real Estate Agents. I think that might be something good. In here. Yeah, he was absolutely brilliant. One of my favorite presenters. Uh, his energy is fantastic. You can find him on YouTube. Um, uh, love, he said, stop counting conversations, right? Because we count our contacts every day and start making conversations count. Uh, he talked about the power of words and one of the examples he gave and, and how he started out the conversation was he talked about what are the things you were you associate with a salesperson so when you talk about somebody being a salesperson what are the things you think of give me an example pushing mission car salesman. car salesman pushy that's exactly right but we change that just slightly and we talk about a professional salesperson now what do you think about educator educator prepared, right prepared a consultant okay so he was using this as an example of how powerful words are and knowing exactly what to say how it can change how our conversations are received with each other's uh said fertilizer is the fear of growth um and your success is in direct correlation to the quality and quantity of your asks so are you asking for enough stuff from other people and how are you asking about it? So that was really powerful. And he gave tons of good examples, guys. And we will have a, a couple of team meetings with some of the examples of the words to use. I'm going to be pulling directly from those books uh, and, and helping you guys know how do I how do I take some of that language and put it into your business? Because even in the hour and a half he spent with us, he, he dropped some bombs that were fantastic. Trey, there's a cheat sheet for that online. Oh, I don't know. I listen to it on Audible, and then he gives you the website. Yeah. yeah. Anything you want to add to that? Uh, no, it's, it's all in the book. It's 14 books on Amazon. It gets there the next day. So I got it. I already spilled tea on it. So <laughs> I'll look at it. What I love, he said our job title ought to be professional mind maker uppers. Mm. That's who we are. And, and what he meant by that is he gave us a job description. Uh, your job is to pattern interrupt someone's day long enough to teach them what they need to know, to take the action they need to take, to get what they want, and give them the confidence to take action on the plan. Mm -hmm. That's our job. Right? I thought that was really powerful. Then we had more agent panels. And uh, marketing for listings, coaching, investments, ISA leverage, and people leverage. Uh, one of the, the best speakers that day was Montaz McRae. Uh, he, in his first five months, had zero transactions. In his first year, 35. It's a well wrote book about it. And it's available on Amazon for 23. He was fantastic. Gary loved him on stage. Um, he's actually somebody that uh mine knows very well yeah we're on the black realtor network together um and he has always been very open about what he does very consistent was fired from his job had no choice but figure out what to do decided to go into real estate and the rest is history now one thing that i would say about montaz is that he's somebody who's like consistent to the point that it's like a little like uncomfortable for me like I cannot talk to Mon Montaz anymore. Like I know that he's not gonna pick up his phone. It doesn't matter what the emergency is, he's not gonna pick up his phone. And he very quickly understood the power of leverage. And leverage, leverage, leverage. So if you guys are struggling with something, think about leverage, it doesn't mean so much about hiring people. It's about using the resources at our disposition to make it happen. That's fantastic. And then they released couple of things for us. So we have the MREA real estate agent playbook and in here for every one of the speakers that was on stage, you got a one page breakdown of exactly what they do for their business. And there's a hundred different playbooks in here. So 
uh, everyone that was on stage at Mega Camps in here and some of the other playbooks that we've done in the past, uh, those are in here. You'll find a lot of those individual playbooks on Connect, but if you want all of them packaged together uh, in, at the Red Label store, you're able to go and buy the book just like that I have. It's got everything in it. And they also released, and again, uh, Marshall and I are going to be talking about it, but a playbook for AI for real estate agents. So this will be part of what uh, Marshall and I are talking about in our chat GPT class. Um, and then they wrapped. That was the end of the, the speakers and everybody that was there, but we weren't done yet, so yeah, bear with me. Uh, we then had the, um, the, the cultural summit um, and uh, Mark King had several people on stages. Uh, Jose won the Mo Anderson recipient award. Buddy Fleming from Bermuda was there talking about uh, what they're doing, trying to clean up the island. Um, all of the people that were in the cultural summit, they're doing something extra besides real estate. They're, 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 the charity that they're involved with in their community and the extraordinary things they're doing to give back. Uh, had a panel of three ladies, Kizzy, Tari, and Ileana, uh, that have created programs for young women in each of their communities to serve them, have information on that. Um, and then Andrea was absolutely fantastic. She, she was just hysterical, actually. Uh, but what she does, and what I thought was so brilliant, she hosts community baby showers. Who don't want to go to a baby shower, right? <laughs> and so everybody comes and brings the diapers and donates and does all that. And you have all the celebration you would normally have at a baby shower, but all of that stuff is for the uh, a local support group that's there to serve. And, and so those are integrated into their businesses. That's part of what they do and who they are. That's part of their branding and part of their messaging. Um, and then we weren't done yet. <laughs> then we had the IALC meeting. Um, and this was uh, standing room only um, because this was a huge vote. And, and you guys may have seen stuff coming out about this on Facebook. Uh, we approved four different uh, proposals at the IALC. And the big one that everybody is talking about and has blown up about is has to do with profit share. And the fact that when an agent leaves Keller Williams and goes to work for a competitor in the past, we have continued to give them profit share as if they were still here and helping us grow. And the agent body, and this is where things are so wrong in the news, is it talks about Keller Williams and the company. Gary Keller and the company have nothing to do with profit share. He released all responsibility and all control for profit share to the ALC, the Agent Leadership Council. We are who decides what happens with profit share and how it is run. And so in our, in our local offices, our, our ALCs met, then, then we told the regional ALCs what, what we thought, and then they met and talked about and decided what they thought the majority of the offices want, and then they went to the ALC meeting, IALC meeting, and, and we cast our votes. And it was voted that we did not think that it was right for us to be giving money from our profits to agents that were in competition with us and would prefer to see us out of business. And, and they reduced the benefit that they get by 95%. This was a big deal. And, and you're going to see it in Facebook and you're going to hear some things. Who do you think is saying negative things about that? That is exactly right. Okay, it's people that have left that were receiving profit share at a competitor and, and in competition with us. And, and now they're not going to get it anymore. But they've got six months that if they want to come back to Keller Williams, they will be reinstated and put back at the, the same level they were. Um, tell everybody, like when you and I were talking about how this is this is not the first time they've changed it, because people are under the assumption this is the first. The, the profit share has been voted on and changes the made to profit share over 20 times in the history of profit share. So this is nothing new. They have changed the number of levels. They've changed the percentages that were paid out. Uh, they changed it from 
revenue share to profit share. There, there's a history of making updates and changes to address what's going on in the current market conditions. And nobody imagined when we started profit share that we would be giving millions of dollars to companies that are trying to take our agents away. Okay, and, and are out there speaking poorly about Keller Williams and how we take care of our agents. That that was not even a a, a dream, a, an idea. There, there was no who would imagine that would happen, right? We thought we were giving these people a gift, and and we couldn't imagine someone going back in, in a way. RJ, you had something you know that agents that retire, they will continue to get it. Continue Retiring to has. And yes. to give it to their family, it's willable. Absolutely. Yeah. That that has not changed. It is only the ones that, that even go into competition against us that there's any change there. I mean, think about any company that offers profit share. When they quit and leave the company, do they continue to get profit share? No. I can't think of any company where that's the case, right? And and so we're just falling more in line with how other companies have approached it. So uh just if you see that now you know some of the context that's behind that yeah, yeah i just uh to piggyback on that tray so i remember attending not a, a mega camp but a family reunion so this happens not just once a year but twice a year when he says i that i stands for international alc so these delegates they all it filters up from this room up to this international body but when I went to the one particular one, Gary Keller was standing in the back listening, taking it all in. He didn't have a vote. It wasn't within his purview to influence or be part of that. Maybe he could influence people's opinions, but he didn't have a vote. So it was really, it was right. And on that international ALC, it's agents and regional directors and team leaders. It's a variety of different people, sure. but it was amazing to see Gary Keller just watching this unfold and he had confidence in the people that are part of his organization we're going to do the right thing however the chips may fall and and here's the other thing i want you guys to know the the money that they're not receiving so those are that reduction that does not go back to keller williams that stays inside of profit share and gets redistributed to everybody that is in and participates in profit share okay so that that money stays with us um and that was the end of uh, so post game. Uh, just wanted to add, if you're ever in Austin uh, at sunset every single night at the Congress Avenue Bridge, uh, there's one and a half million bats that live under that bridge that uh, you can go watch them go out every single night. So um, if you guys are interested in seeing the video on this, uh, it is up on my Facebook page. Um, it just means that we're not friends on Facebook yet. So if we're not friends on Facebook yet, please send me a friend request. I would love to be connected with everybody. Anything you want to add to close out? You covered it all. Not all. It's a big event, guys. Yeah, I cannot you, you just imagine trying. You have no idea how many hours I spent trying to condense this down. Well, I got two referrals from over. the event. Let me say that. I, that. I got two referrals from the event. These events are like you get strategic, you start going to them, and it pays for itself. More so, that. more than that, because I'm in Max Coaching, I didn't pay for Mega Camp. I just paid for my ticket and my flight and the food and stuff like that. But, but you would have paid for food anyways. anyways. So I got there and I was very strategic and I got two referrals that are going to come. One of them is actually coming live soon, next, next month. And then something by the end of the year that's actually luxury. So, so. you know, you play your cards right straight. So next for you guys. February family reunion. I want to take a big group to family reunion this year. It is in Las Vegas. Would love to have 20 or more of us going. So please start looking at and figuring out how can we make this happen for you. There's a you guys, discount right it now. It is amazing. Every one of these events. Um, next week, please. I missed the date. And are all these things on the resource center, like all the links and or on connect <laughs> and you can always email me email felicia email whitney um we'll help you get the answers if you don't know where they are okay 
Um, next week, please guys bring a friend. Love, love to keep this room filled up. Remember, it's about to get twice as big. Uh, we're going to want to fill that one up too. So get them, get them headed here. And uh, that's it. Go get your unfair share. <laughs>